Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn in how to use Microsoft Planner for project management. So what we're going to do here is we have to open any of our web browser and then of course we have to search for Microsoft 365. And then when you see this website, you just have to click on this one. And of course, you have to sign up for an account. And of course, Microsoft 365 is not for free. So you have to pay for an amount in order for you to access the different application of the Microsoft 365. And then once you're here, just click on the apps option. And then you just have to scroll down just a little bit and you'll be able to see here now the planner. So just have to click on this one okay so create plans organize your project and as you can see right here i already used this one before on the construction project example that i have made so you'd be able to see here now the different details of the construction project okay so here as you can see at the top you have different options or views so when you go to the grid option so you can see this one and then we have the board the schedule and the charts so for this video we are going to create a new project okay so just click on create new and then you have to select the project management that's right so click on this one or you can also start from scratch if you want to then after that you'd be able to see here now the preview or how is a template looks like so if you are good to go if you want to use this one just click on the use template option at the bottom right of this section and before that you can also read the key benefits right here now create a plan from a template so you just have to create the names i'm just going to name this one as project management one and then add it to my pin plans and if you would like to add a group so you just have to click on it and this one is optional and click on create after that okay and then just wait for a couple of seconds and then your new project will be created now what you're going to do since you already have this different options you can now go to the different views at the top and then of course if you want to add more details for this project management of course you can do that as well now the first thing that you should do here is we have the different titles at the top of each um, columns so if you want to change this one of course according to the project that, that, that you are creating so you just have to type out right here the name of the project process so we have the initiating the planning the executing and more so for the initiating as you can see right here we already have different tasks and then of course if we want to use this template we just have to click on it and then we can add here now our own information or details for our project okay as you can see right here we can add a tag we can assign this task to someone or to our teammate and then for the bucket we have the initiating for the progress the priority section the start date of this task the due date and then the repeat section so if you want to repeat this task you just have to select your option and then you can just type out right here or select the due date for this one and of course if you want to add a note you just have to go here and then type out your note and of course you can click on this box right here to show this on the card okay and then for the checklist as you can see we already have this pre-built checklist but of course we can add our own item on we can also customize this pre-built checklist right here and for the attachment if you have an important and relevant um attachment you can also add that right here okay so if this one is done you just have to check the circle and it will be displayed like this now the next section is the planning so just do the same if you want to add a new task just click on the add task option and then you have the name the task okay so for example organizer 
and then next we have the input here the details you just click on it then we have the bucket the progress the priority the notes and then the checklist and right here let us try to add a checklist so just click on this option which is the add an item and then you can now start creating or creating a name for the checklist the next one is the executing so if this one is done just click on this circle option and if you click on this arrow so you'd be able to see here now the tasks that are finished okay that's right so let me just unshine this one next is we have the um monitoring and controlling so we have the report monthly status and then for the closing now if you want to add a new bucket just click on the add new bucket at the very end of this sections so you just have to name what is your last bucket is all about and then you can now add a task add a checklist and then input all of the information of this new task okay that's right as you can see we have successfully created a new bucket and a new task okay and then if you want to assign this um, task to your members so we just have the input their email address or even to the whole company okay that's right so we have successfully added here all of the important information for this project management now when you go to the schedule section at the very top you'd be able to see here the calendar or the date so if you want to input here a specific deadline so you just have to click on the date and then you just have to select the task okay so this is one of the best features on the um planner because you can actually use the calendar to input the different tasks so you can monitor your teammates if you are working on this one and then you can see the different deadlines in a very clear manner okay so going back here now to your home page you'd be able to see here the status your um, chart we have the different analytics for your project management so if you are going to use this planner it will really help you to have a successful and organized project okay so just have to take note that of course in order for you to have a successful project you also need to monitor the different tasks that you have added so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below